Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, welcome to your boy Always Rage Gaming, welcome to Elite Cameraman, and we are here for his analysis, theory, and easter eggs, apparently there's new episode 75 leaks from the fuck boom himself, but enough stalling, like and subscribe to your boy, and let's get into it. One Elite Cameraman here. What's up, Elite After cameraman? 10 days, we finally have some official info and leaks from Mr. Boom himself about episode 75, and they sure are crazy. I thought we'd get only one leak, but Boom decided to drop a leak nuke and posted five leaks at once on his Instagram. And since Boom didn't mention episode 75 in the list of the episodes he is most hyped about when I interviewed him. People thought that episode 75 wouldn't be that important, which would cause it to be released much faster, but it seems like that's not the case. And as always, I do have some exclusive info for you guys about why episode 75 was delayed, and, what and a small detail about the episode itself which was told to me by Mr. Boom himself. Really? So make sure to watch the video until the end. Before I get started with the crazy leaks, I need to mention that I know I haven't been uploading a lot lately, but this is mostly because I don't want to make a bunch of videos just yapping about random stuff by clickbaiting fake leaks when there is nothing important to talk about like That's true. most of the other analysis channels. That's true, Lee Cameraman. People have to realize that. But they're going to get it one day. Channels have been doing. No disrespect to other analysis channels, but if you do want to get the most reliable info about the series and upcoming episodes, make sure to like this. If you really want to be a CEO, want to be an entrepreneur, well, you should take the first the step. Create the LLC. It this video and subscribe. Anyways, here we go. First, let me start with why episode 75 was delayed. Right before posting the leaks, Boom told me that it was delayed due to him taking a little rest in the beginning of June, which was basically when episode 74 was released, and also because he was actually preparing some new designs and maps for the upcoming episodes that we'll be watching. I'm guessing that these maps and character designs being made in bulk will help him finish the next couple episodes faster. And it's still crazy to think that he still does everything by himself even till this day. True. Bro's grind mentality is on a different level. He also told me one more exclusive info about episode 75 and I'll tell you what he said later in the video so keep watching. I think it's time we start moving on to the actual leaks that were posted on Boom's Instagram. Since there are five leaks I'll start from what I think is the least important to the most important leak. As the first one we actually got the Commander Cameraman which I think is the same one we saw. Com Commander, yeah I can tell about the um, Commander's hat. So pretty useful on the season 24 secret scenes and he sure is smoking that skibidi pack once again <laughs> bros just chill like that and he smokes everywhere i feel like one day it might blow up on his face if he decides to smoke in an area he shouldn't it also looks like he is in some kind of warehouse that stores containers because this place is certainly in closed doors and it may actually be the same place as two of the other leaks i'll be showing you guys the only problem is that the lighting looks very different so I don't know if we'll be watching multiple POVs just like how it was last episode. I also did say this is probably the same Commander Cameraman from the full season, but since the image is very low quality, we can't really see the blue color, and we don't know if there are multiple Commander Cameraman with different colored hats and ties, so we'll have to wait and see. The next leak we got is of the IKEA Cameraman. Bro literally looks like the reference Roblox IKEA employee that we saw a while ago with that yellow shirt and blue tie. I was going to say that exact same thing. <laughs> this leak doesn't provide much info, but it looks like he is mentally getting ready to attack or waiting for something to happen. We can also see two screws behind him, and we actually see these in the next leak. I'll show you which confirms that at least two of the leaks are from the same place. The next leak is where we also can start making theories because it actually does show quite a bit. This leak kinda does feel like the OG leaks we used to get, and it shows a large cameraman sitting next to a cameraman that looks like is sad. He also has a weapon of sorts on the ground which looks weird, and I assume it's because of the textures not being loaded or something because that solid grey color doesn't look natural. The fact that he is looking down like that makes me think of two things. He either messed something up, or someone died. If you also look all the way back, 
we can see some sort of an arch which might be the entrance or the exit of this bunker-like place. But that's not all, because if you look at the wall, we can see the same screws we saw on the last leak, which means the IKEA cameraman is probably on the other side of the hallway or somewhere close by to these two cameramen. And if these two scenes happen at the same time, it might be that the pose which IKEA cameraman has is closer to him being sad instead of getting ready for something. Yep. I don't know what's happening, but this raid seems like something sad might happen. If you also look carefully, it looks like the large cameraman has only one arm, and he has lost his left arm. It's unclear if this happened just before, or he was like this before the mission, because there is no marks or light particles around his left shoulder. But maybe this happened because of the cameraman on the left, and maybe he is sad because he caused him to lose an arm. And since we saw that most of the episode looks like it'll take place in a closed space, I can tell you the next exclusive info boom told me. He said that episode 75 won't feature the Titans or G-Man at all, but still will be important. I guess we won't know if Titan Cameraman dies or not for at least one more episode. There is also a possibility that we won't see them for a couple episodes because Boom used to make us wait a couple episodes before reveals back in the day, which helped hype up the comeback of characters a lot more. And this is one of the most important events, so I don't think he'll miss out on the opportunity to make it crazy good. As I mentioned in my episode analysis, I don't think Titan Cameraman will die. And it's very likely that G-Man Toilet... Didn't I say that? Didn't I already say that Titan, Man didn't die? Titan Cameraman didn't die? Well, he didn't because we don't see no dead body. It will be the one to save him to strengthen their relationship because everything that's going on right now is pointing at the direction which would make the toilets team up with the alliance to fight against the astro toilets. Now we have only two leaks left and these two leaks are even crazier than the last three leaks combined. The first one is of a toilet smiling like he is on some drugs and the way he has his eyes fully open looks so scary but what is that weird what? circular shape behind his head? At first I thought this guy might have been an astro but the problem is he doesn't have a helmet so I feel like we'll need to scratch that possibility even though his eyes look kind of red but because of the lighting it's impossible to understand if it's red or brown. I guess we'll have to wait and see but because of this image we know that episode will have both an indoor and outdoor section because this toilet looks like it's outside with all the fog and the next leak I'll show you also supports this idea. We also do know that the Titans won't be appearing, so the question on my mind is, who will be fighting this blood? From the way his toilet is structured, he likes quite big, and I doubt normal troops will be able to kill him off. It's also likely that this toilet comes at the beginning of the episode, which will make the cameraman squad run inside one of the buildings or the warehouse like place we saw. And this might be why they seemed really scared. Maybe large cameraman in the last leak lost his arm in the battle that'll occur outside the building. But if there is a big threat like this outside, it'd mean that they are stuck inside and they could get attacked at any moment, which begs the question of who will save them. When it comes to the last, craziest, and the most important leak that we have ever seen in the history of Skibidi Toilet, it's a freaking chair. It's literally an office chair that's in a parking lot. <laughs> The aura of this chair would rival TV Daddy's aura. This freaking chair managed to become a leak by itself. That's a crazy accomplishment. I don't know if Boom is trying to give some secret message through this leak, but unless he is full on trolling, he might be foreshadowing something. Maybe this chair is truly crucial in the episode and we'll only know it when we see it. But for real though, I might dump TV Woman for this chair, it looks great. Other than the chair itself, we can see that we are outside in some sort of a parking lot, and I assume this scene happens before the cameraman squad gets inside whatever building they got inside. But it also seems like we are finally completely out of the bunker area and onto new sceneries, just like Boom said. I can't wait for episode 75 since it truly is the beginning of a new era for Skibidi Toilet. Oh, well, oh, I guess that's all, but hey, shoot. At least we got some leaks, and y'all got some leaks as well. That's some good info. But why it has to be a chair? Office chair, to be honest. Well, that must be foreshadowing something, but the lead cameraman's right. And, uh, well, I think, <laughs> thank the cameraman for the, uh, what you call it? Ana chairman. <laughs> chairman. Analysis theory and Easter eggs, and also 
Yeah, I thank him for sharing the info. I will share the info myself too. I mean, this is a reaction, by the way, guys. So don't be negative in the comments like some people do. Yay. Yeah, hey, hopefully, y'all subscribe. Leave a like as well. As always, I will see all of y'all in my next video. Peace. Rich Gaming out.